barely a month ago, Agnes T. Rock brought glory to the country called Kenya and to herself when she broke the world record for the 10 kilometers race. And she broke that record by around 30 seconds, confirming that this was a unique talent, a star on the rise, and somebody with a very bright future. But as fate would have it, we are now talking about the circumstances under which her young life was snuffed out in such a cruel manner. Many Kenyans, and indeed the world, have been left asking many questions. How did it happen? What exactly were the circumstances yeah, leading to the very unfortunate situation? This video is based on some very detailed investigations into this whole affair. What really happened to talented, world-beater athlete Agnes de Rob? What are the events and circumstances that led to the very unfortunate, gory discovery on the morning of Wednesday, 13th October, 2021, when her lifeless body was found at a house in the Rift Valley. Maybe we should start with the very latest development in this story that has shocked the nation. A few minutes before I came in to make this recording, news broke that Agnes T. Rob's husband, Emmanuel Rotich, had finally been apprehended by the police. Yeah a long way away from where all this drama unfolded, in Changamwe, in Mombasa. Initial reports indicate that he was driving alone in a private vehicle. Changamwe is in the outskirts of Mombasa. Actually, it's before you enter the island. Yeah. Very close to the airport in Mombasa. And as usual, the details from the police. Yeah were very scanty, but it is believed that he was struck, and being so far away, it is obvious that he was on the run. And in a bit, we shall come to the reason why investigators placed him right at the top of the list of suspects. You know, many Kenyans are not aware of the fact that modern technology makes it possible yeah, to track somebody through various devices, either devices fitted into a car or even somebody's phone. But as usual, let us start this story at the beginning. 
Bwana Emmanuel Rutich was the coach of Agnes Tirop. He identified her talent when she was still in school and groomed and coached her for international stardom. But clearly, their relationship was much more than just a coach and an athlete. According to the family of Agnes, they moved in together early on. And as she started winning races yeah, and earning finances, it is Bonarotich who managed all this on her behalf. Not only as a coach, but also as a spouse. Now, witnesses report that as Agnes de Rope's fame grew, the relationship ran into many troubles, constant fights, and things got really bad when Agnes de Rope returned from the recently concluded Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan. Agnes accused her coach of being unfaithful and promptly moved out of their matrimonial home and she went to live at her training camp in Iten. Those who were training with her say that she was lured back into her home to meet Emmanuel Rutich, the idea being to gather her belongings. And that was the last time she was seen alive. Her mother tried to reach her on her cell phone, yeah, but it appeared to have been switched off. And that was when her dad decided to report to the police that she was missing. And on Tuesday, October 12th, the police who are now investigating this case received some very disturbing information from the parents of Bonarotich. They told investigators that he had called, sounding very distressed, and he had said that he needed to be forgiven and also forgiven by God for what he had done. But he did not give details or specify what it is exactly that he had done. Police made the link immediately and determined that Bonarotich must have some information about the whereabouts of Agnes. And the next morning, Wednesday, October 13th, they went to their matrimonial home where they found Agnes lifeless yeah, with a stab wound on her neck and her stomach. Emmanuel Rotich was nowhere to be seen. Now, interestingly, in the home of the couple where Agnes was found, there are CCTV cameras, and currently, footage is being looked at to determine precisely what may have happened. And assuming that the cameras were not tampered with, chances are very high that this whole mystery will be solved by what is found on the footage. Now Agnes Tirop's parents say that she was the sole breadwinner of the family. Yeah. But they also complain that they were not happy with the way Bonarotich was handling their daughter's finances. It seems that he had total control but the real bombshell from them is that they say they did not recognize Emmanuel Rutich as her husband. They only knew him as her coach. And although the couple lived together as man and wife, they insist that nothing official had been done. Yeah, they had not received any dowry for their daughter. Now, what makes this story very sad is that this Kenyan was very young, with a very bright future 
ahead of her because she was only 25 years old. Our very sincere condolences go out to her parents and her family. Poleni sana. May Almighty God give you strength to go through this very difficult time. Now, I shall keep you informed of developments. Yeah, because clearly, this is a story that has just begun. But all the initial information suggests that this was a crime of passion, which appear to be on the increase in our country at the moment. And contrary to what many people believe, yeah, that something like this can never happen to them, the truth is, human nature yeah, tells us that this is the kind of thing that can happen to anybody. I did another video some time back focusing on crimes of passion and what they are yeah, and what one needs to be very careful about because there's a monster inside all of us that can very easily be triggered yeah, and then the aftermath is something that even you cannot believe. There's a link at the top right hand corner of your screens right now leading to that video. I highly recommend it. Yeah, it'll help you understand a lot of things and also learn because we're in this life to learn. Until next time, this is Chris. Come, Kucha.